You know, I have a feeling that every child wants to heal. Whenever I've been able indirectly and sometimes directly to examine them then or when they've been older, I believe the healing inner instinct in a child is very, very strong. Not as we might define healing as adults, but as, as they related to it in their, in their own way then. And I think if they had their way, almost every one of them would persist with the desire for healing and become healers. I don't mean strict medical doctors necessarily, but they could be, but, but become, as it were, healers. Now, they go into accountancy. I want my accountant to be as a healer and my lawyer to be as a healer, to really care for me as a person and want to do what's best to help me as a person to, to reduce my fear, the fear of the, of the government, you know, the fear, just to, just to... So any profession can be a healing profession. Imagine an architect who sees himself as a healer creating, a, a, as it were, a temple for the people who live there who can feel so loved. I remember a man who had a terrible, terrible relationship with his wife. Terrible, terrible relationship. But they stayed together for money reasons for, and other reasons for many, many years. And I went up to see his big sort of holiday home, a huge place built by this very, very famous architect. He said, I hate this place. He said, none of it is mine. It's his. I hate it. He's everywhere here. I hate it. I hate it. And that's where he had his heart attack. Not in his little old home he had elsewhere, like for his daily living, but he had it there in that, in that state. But imagine that that architect had said, I'll give you a house in which you're going to feel loved. And not make the architect important. Look at his ego, but, but the occupants to feel loved. Now, every profession can do that. It's, it's, it's not so easy in the legal profession for many, many reasons, but it's there. It is there. Let's imagine, and I've tracked this with people, that something happens to cause them to lose it. And it's, it's always some particular trauma. That's why they end up not only as lawyers, but that type of lawyer. You see? But let's, let's just imagine that what I'm doing is just a continuance. I haven't, I haven't lost it. Right? You can still do it in your profession. Everyone in their own profession. I just haven't had to change very much. Now, what I suspect is every, as I've found, is that every kid, as it were, wants to heal. And dare I ask the question, who do they most want to heal? Mummy. Because they see mummy crying, they see mummy unhappy, they see mummy getting angry with them or someone else. So I think all healing starts with the desire to help mummy, to, as it were, heal mummy, to make mummy happy. That, and that's, that's how it, that's what, so every person who, so I, I was asked, actually just the other day, someone asked to me, uh, what do I feel or see with the sufferer? Well, what I see them as being, in a way, as representing my mother and wanting to be helped to be made whole, helped to find their soul, which I have to first find their soul, first find my mother's soul, therefore first find my soul, to then help them to find theirs. But just imagine, when you were a little kid, you really loved your mummy, and you saw how unhappy she was and you really, really wanted to help her, to heal her. But then something happened and you... If you'd gone into medicine, particularly today, you would be as far away as if now as you were a big money lawyer. But 
but it's, 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 it's there in every child. And that's what we have to help bring out in the child, you know, because, and, and encourage, because that's what's there. That's what's there. And that's in all of us to do this with mummy and all as mummy. Therefore, we all have this desire still to heal our mothers.